So let's look at the roads so far for my business. So after almost 20 years as an engineer working on an industrial three axis, four axis milling machines, um, industrial laser cutters and uh, vertical horizontal mills, I obviously then decided to come into business for myself. Didn't want to work for anyone, someone else anymore. So started up Smelly Cat Creations and that was just over three years ago now, three and a half years ago. And when I started, when I started out as Smelly Cat Creations, I'd obviously just come from industrial machines, half a million pound um, milling machines. And I started out with uh, Ooze Nest Work Bee. So I had one Ooze Nest Work Bee in this corner on a big wooden bench. And I started out with that. And I can't knock them. They're, they're a great starter machine. The Work Bee is what it is. Um, lets people know if they like CNC or not. And uh, yeah, so I started out with a Work Bee here. I ended up having another Work Bee over on the bench over there. So I was using two work bees and it wasn't it was ideal in that the work bee is an amazing machine. Well, it's, 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 it's a capable machine when it comes to machining wood. But my background was in metal and I, I very quickly started to go back into metal working. But I was doing it on hobbyist machines and and wasn't ideal. Um, took a lot of adjusting my programs, a lot of fighting against actual slack, fighting against not a powerful enough spindle, um, backlash, slack issues, um, and speed. Uh, I'd, I'd come from expensive industrial machines that you could push until the cutters would snap. Um, your tips would come flying off, you know Hobby machines can't do that uh, So But I made it work I made it work and That's what I did so I just compensated with my programming compensated with my cut depths um, My speeds my feeds. I just had to compensate and I had to I had to change my programs to Make sure I could get around making it work on the machine I had. So I started off with the work bees and then I eventually realised, well quite quickly realised, they weren't going to be up to the job of what I needed them to do. So after the work bees, I managed to pick up this, working with Rory at Stony CNC, I managed to pick up this Stony CNC XX4, which basically was a prototype. It was a prototype machine they built to test the concept and the design of the machine but for me it was a massive leap in improvement um, I now had a rigid machine solid rigid machine steel built welded it was compared to you know a hobby machine this was a solid capable machine and saw massive improvements in in the quality of the work, the speed that I could run at. Um, and obviously, didn't quite have the same. I had a one meter by one meter work bee. This is six, this is 550 by 550. And, but it was more, more than capable. It's got the water cooled spindle with the cooler, which is just on the back here. I've got my camera on there, obviously, so I can keep an eye on them. But yeah, this is, uh, this one's on steppers and runs off UC CNC and I was really pleased with it it's, it's, it's been a great machine up to this point and it's still a great machine but I've always tried to progress and improve the machines as the work comes through and as I can improve so I got that one which straight away allowed me to get rid of one of the work bees and then I picked up two two Demford machines so looking for kind of affordable CNC machines. I wanted something that was affordable, but just above the sort of hobby level. Um, I was still 
the business was still young, still wasn't exactly <laughs> pulling in tons of work and money and so then I got this, so I got this Denford 2600 Pro and I also picked up a Denford 1000 Pro so I picked those two up off of eBay and they they, they earned their keep they, they've easily paid for themselves with the work there's been no problems there um, I don't believe these machines are worth at all what they charge for them new they don't they don't have that the, the quality is not there for the the money they're charging for these as a new machine I mean I without look I think they're charging something like 28,000 pounds for the 2000 this is not a 28,000 pound machine um, it's a capable machine it's not a bad machine per se uh, but it runs off their software you have to have their license and their software the Denford software is not great not very good it doesn't have good um, backlash it doesn't have linear rails um, it doesn't have ball screws it has lead screws and it's just yeah but they've been good to me these, these machines have been good to me this machine here has knocked out a lot of work this machine has ran was running almost 24-7 I always had it running it was always running um, so I can't complain it did its job did its job paid for itself and uh, yeah but as business grows that's when you need to invest the money back into the business and step up your your game so if you want to improve your quality because I saw a big quality I saw a big difference between the work coming off the XX4 to the work coming off the Dentford by the time I finished I could make them basically to around the same sort of finish but you was always I was always having to combat it with the the programming the uh, the manual finishing it was it wasn't just coming straight off the machine to a quality that I like I mean I, I try to always work to the highest possible quality I set my standards very high with my finish and with the product itself so you were always combating against it I was always having to find ways workarounds to, to get it to the the sort of finish that I wanted uh, my main issue that I was starting to find with the exec 4 was bed size so I started doing a lot of molds um, a lot of jobs that the bed wasn't it didn't have enough uh, bed for and and then more work came in and I needed to step up my game again so I'm always trying to push out the old machines and keep bringing in newer faster better quality machines so that was when the XX8 came into play so the XX8 from Stony CNC which is basically this was the concept for this so <clears throat> I've had this now for just over a month maybe two months and it's a game changer uh, so the x 8 obviously has much bigger bed so it's 600 wide by 1.2 just over 1.2 meters long so it's got plenty of extra bed size to accommodate any of the larger jobs that I need to get on there We've now gone from the stepper motors up to the servo motors which is honestly a massive game changer um, it's like watching an ice skater it, it, it just glides it glides in all of its movements and it's just smooth so smooth uh, this runs on UC CNC the same as the XX4 runs on UC CNC great bit of software UC CNC has loads of parameters you can change and, and options for extra input outputs so as you can see here we've got the um, the tool probe or which also uses the zero um, Z set probe and you can add more probes and features in there so we've got the fog buster on the side there that's uh, a must just it's a must to have a good airline good coolant system for 
machine and aluminium especially and um yeah this has been a game changer for me this is this this machine has really stepped up the game it's really improved the quality it's improved the speed it doesn't bog down even the x84 will bog down you push it too hard um the spindle will start to bog down it will start to try and stall i've not had a single thing on this machine so far that has tried to bog down tried it, it will just it will just chew away it was it's just a monster um and that that servo drive is just so smooth so after fiddling with the perimeters in ucc and c for my sort of 3d work I've now got that sort of dialed in and it's really working how i need it to so yeah it's a slow process don't expect to jump straight in with the best equipment to start with you know as the money becomes available as the work becomes available step up the game step up the 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 machinery and you're going to increase your speed you're going to increase your quality you're going to increase your output you know so you can get more work through the door out the door and then you can pay for the machine it'll pay for itself once the work starts coming in and you get the better machines they're going to pay for themselves they're going to earn their keep so don't just think you can jump straight in with the best machine but also don't think you can if you want the quality and you want the and you should want the quality you, you should want to be putting out the very best quality work you can put out uh, you, you just won't you won't you won't get it or, or you'll get you even if you get close to it you're gonna need to put in a lot of extra work to get there um, so yeah this was a great investment for me this is this is really taking the, the business forward further and so far I'm super impressed with it I'll be doing some more modifications to it just to sort of tailor it to my needs uh, but even now even now I want all jobs to go on this machine uh, I now rely on this machine less and other machines don't really get a look in so I'm selling the Demfords certainly that smaller ones up for sale um, served its purpose so thanks for watching and um, I know it was a long lot of chatting but you just you got to start somewhere and you can start with a small machine but just don't think you never could upgrade to uh, you know bigger higher quality machine because it, it will earn